Ever pondered the ethics of YouTube sponsorships? It's a question that's been gaining traction lately. Sponsorships are an integral part of the YouTube ecosystem, a symbiotic relationship where creators get funding and companies get exposure. But when does this partnership tip the scales, compromising content quality for financial gain? A prime example is BetterHelp, a common sponsor on the platform with a reputation that's a tad bit tarnished. BetterHelp, an online counseling service, has faced its fair share of controversies, the most notable scandal being their alleged selling of user information, an infringement that quite rightly raised more than a few eyebrows. Despite this, BetterHelp continues to feature prominently as a sponsor across numerous channels. This brings us to a paradox, a conundrum where ethics and financial gain are in a constant tug of war. So what does this mean for our beloved YouTubers? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's dive into the murky waters of BetterHelp's past. The year was 2018, a time that would forever taint the reputation of this online counseling platform. BetterHelp found itself at the center of a whirlwind controversy, accused of a grave breach of trust, selling user information. Now, imagine the shock and dismay of users who turned to BetterHelp seeking solace, only to discover their private struggles might have been peddled for profit. The co-founder of BetterHelp, Alan Modis, was quick to deny these damning allegations. He insisted that their privacy policy was clear and that they were not in the business of selling private mental health data. However, as the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. The Federal Trade Commission didn't buy Modis's denial. They investigated the matter and lo and behold found BetterHelp guilty. The company was slapped with a hefty fine for this egregious violation of trust. This scandal left an indelible mark on BetterHelp's reputation. Trust once lost is hard to regain. This was no minor hiccup but a significant breach of ethical conduct. It raised questions about BetterHelp's credibility and the safety of its platform for users seeking mental health support. But here's the puzzling bit. Despite this scandal, many YouTubers continue to promote BetterHelp. Why? One could argue that smaller creators might be financially motivated, but what about the big guns of YouTube, those who have already struck gold and are financially stable? Why would they risk their reputation and their audience's trust for a partnership with a company that has such a tainted past? This is the question that we need to ponder. In the next scene, we'll delve into the dilemma that YouTubers face when it comes to sponsorships and collaborations. Stay tuned as we unravel the complex web of YouTube sponsorships. So why are big YouTubers who have financial stability still promoting better help? This is a question that's been nagging at the back of our minds. Is it the allure of an easy paycheck that's too tempting to resist? Or perhaps it's the promise of a partnership with a company that, on the surface, seems to offer much-needed mental health services. But let's pause and ponder for a moment. If a company has a tainted past, if it's been involved in scandals involving the misuse of sensitive personal information, should it be promoted, regardless of the potential financial gain? Isn't there a certain level of trust, a responsibility, that these influential creators owe to their audience? They are, after all, a source of inspiration, guidance, and often a positive influence on many of their viewers. It's a dilemma, isn't it? Balancing the need for financial stability with the ethical responsibility towards your audience. While it's understandable for smaller YouTubers to seek financial support, big creators have a responsibility to their audience. Well, so where does this leave us? This leaves us with a choice. A choice to prioritize ethical partnerships over quick profits. Promoting a company like BetterHelp with its checkered past is a decision that needs careful thought. Remember, it was only six years ago in 2018 when allegations of unethical data handling practices were leveled against them. Yes, they denied it, but the Federal Trade Commission thought otherwise. They fined BetterHelp for selling private mental health data. That's not a small issue, is it? This is a company dealing with sensitive information, the private mental health data of individuals seeking help. It's not just about the money. It's about the trust of your audience, a trust that is hard to earn and easy to lose. So to all creators, big and small, let's think about the kind of companies we want to associate with. In the end, it's about more than just making money. It's about maintaining trust with your audience. So think twice before you promote BetterHelp.